Hi everyone, I just want to do a quick video of how to export your pictures in Lightroom for Facebook and to also set up those watermarks. The first thing we need to do is go over how to set up your watermark because this is going to be a very important process and once you set them up they'll be good to go. So there are a couple different ways to get to the watermarks area. First is here and under edit and you can go down to edit watermarks and we'll bring up your watermark editor screen. You can also go to the photo itself, hit export, scroll up to export again, and you'll get to this same box. If you look at all these options down here on the bottom is watermarking, and you can also hit edit watermarks, and this will bring up your watermark editor as well. Okay, so first things first, I have a folder on my computer not my external hard drive but my computer for a PNG file that has my watermark so I'm going to go to this file once I get there and I'm going to pick my watermark so that's my PNG file that I want to use okay so in this option right here you will scroll down to watermark effects and as you can see right here in the bottom left hand corner it's there well I want to create it up top top left so my anchor position I'm going to move to top left and I can change the size of it you can make it big large however you want I just want it about right there I can also change the position of it if I want to move it in Go all the way out so let's start about right there if I want to go up if I want to go down I'm gonna keep it right at right at zero looks good okay so you can also change the opacity if you don't want it all the way there if you want it fully bright or just barely showing so I'm gonna keep mine at a hundred I made it a little bit bigger moved it over a little bit anchored it to the top left you can do whatever you want because ideally you can set up multiple watermarks based upon the position so you'll see that in a second that I have one saved here I have one saved for top right etc so we're gonna save top left so I'm gonna hit um, come up here to custom I'm gonna hit save current settings as new preset and TL for top left okay and I'm just gonna hit done now, you can see that I have wanted to export this one file for Facebook. I already have some settings set up over here. Facebook bottom left, bottom right, top middle, top right. But I need to create a top left just like I did with my watermark. So, I have bottom left, bottom right, top right. So let's say I'm just going to use the Facebook top right as a, as a starting point. I have a folder on my desktop that's for Facebook that I export everything to. I can choose to rename the file. I'm going to use the custom file number. Basically, change it to Monarch Olson Photography and keep it the same original file number so I can match it up. Or if you're doing a batch rename, you can do sequence where it starts with 1 and names it 1 through 50 or however that you would like to do that. I usually keep original file number just so I can go back, but it's really up to you. Here's another important part is the file settings. I want to export as a JPEG. Quality for a Facebook photo doesn't necessarily have to be at 100 because the bigger the file, the larger the file, more Facebook seems to mess some things up. So I usually keep it in the 80s somewhere. So let's start about 85. Then I go to image resizing and this is the size of the image that you want to put on Facebook. I always hit resize to fit long edge and I don't want to enlarge it and for this case I'm going to use a thousand pixels at a resolution of 200, 240, some people say 72. It's really up to you if you would want to. I keep it at 240 and I keep it at a thousand pixels. Facebook, I think, allows you to go up to two, 2048. Um, you can go that far if you would like. 
You can output to sharpen for screen, low, standard, high. I keep mine at standard. And here's the part where your watermarking, pick the watermark um, that you want for the photo. So since we made our top left watermark, we're going to hit top left. And before we export, let's save this as a preset. I'm going to hit add, and I'm going to save in FB for Facebook, TL for top left. If you notice, I corresponded all of my watermarks to match my export presets. This is so I know that this export preset is going to export the watermark in the position that I want. So if I have these already set up, I don't have to come in here and change this every time that I'm trying to export a photo. So now that I have this saved, just top left, watermark is saved to top left, I can adjust any of these settings wherever I would like. It's time to export. So I go through and I export. And I will bring up my Facebook photo. And let me resize. And there you see that it exported as top left right here. Now I can also do this for multiple photos if we wanted to maybe say do these next two and you want to put them the watermark in the same spot. Export. Now that this is saved right here, top left, and it's working. Export two files, task completed. Open up my Facebook folder, and now you'll see I have two of them. Next one, two, and three. So it's a nice way to do a batch rename with the logo watermark for Facebook, whatever size. You can also set up other types of watermarks, other types of export presets, but I hope that helps. Thanks a lot, guys.